Hey everyone, I'm Laura Davidson with Shure. My team and I recently got all of these wireless components to put into racks so that we can start going out to train dealers, reps, and hopefully some of you about Shure's incredible wireless offerings. Now, the gear didn't show up looking like this. It came in a bunch of different boxes and we were all tasked with putting it together. And this was my first time putting together a rack like this. So I thought I'd make a video showing you the struggles, pitfalls, and tips and tricks that I learned along the way. So come with me and check it out and watch how I go from this to this. Keep in mind as you're watching this video that this rack was put together for demonstration purposes and you wouldn't traditionally rack this many different types of wireless together in one unit. So I have all the gear out of the boxes and now I want to determine which piece goes where and if there's any additional hardware that needs to be mounted before I start racking things up. In this case, I have my BLX and my SLXD that I need to attach because they are single channel units and they come with this piece here, actually two of them to be specific. So I've already done the one on the bottom side of this unit here. And so I'm just gonna attach this here and then we're gonna put the uh, rack ears on and you will see it has a recessed side as well as a flat side. So you want to do the recessed side up so that the screws can nestle in there good and snug. So I'm going to just screw those in real quick like right into the top. So the next thing I want to do is get my rack ears put on so that it can hang in the rack and be secure. And to do that, you just put them on here and attach the screws and that's it. So now I have my BLX and my SLXD attached to one another, top and bottom, and my rack ears secured so they're ready to go into the rack. I'm also going to attach my antenna receptacles to the front of my UA844 because it's going to have front mounted antennas for this rack scenario. And make sure you do that before you rack it up so that you're not having to do it from behind because it's physically impossible once it's in the rack. And also attach my antenna cables to the back of the UA844 before I start racking it up. Otherwise, you can't reach in or this happens. One thing I learned when I started racking things up was that my hands didn't quite fit if I tried to rack the units and then begin plugging them in, mainly because there are different depths. You can see the Axion Digital sticks out quite a bit more than the SLXD and the BLX. So that's why I started off with everything flush, slid into the rack, plugged everything in, and then slid it all the way in and secured it. The first thing that I'm gonna do is wire up my power so that we can get these things juiced up. And I'm going from the UA844 tapping off the UA844 into my BLX and my SLXD. Okay, so I have my power cables connected there. Now what I'm gonna do is power up my Axiant Digital with this IEC cable here. The main one goes right here, you can hear it click. And then it comes with this cool little jumper cable that allows me to tap off of the Axiant Digital and into the ULXD there and you'll hear this little click so it's nice and secure there. I cheated a little bit. I got all of my antenna cables attached to the UA844 before starting this. So right now I'm going to connect all of my A's to the A channels. So all my A antennas from the UA844 into the Axiant ULXD, SLXD and BLX. So here we go. So now all of my A's are connected. Let's do the B's. Okay, so now all of my B's are connected. As you can see, I have Spaghetti Junction here. I'm gonna go back and do some cable management to get it a little bit neater and tidier so that it sits in the case itself and doesn't have chances of being ripped out, especially because you have to have access to your XLR cables. So we'll do some cable management, but let's see what we've got. So everything is racked up in the case. Everything's been laid flush on the front now. So we are ready to start screwing it in. I forgot to mention that I attached my UA844 antennas from this receptacle on the front 
to the rear of the unit, which is very important. Otherwise, you're not gonna have any antenna signal at all. So make sure that you do that. And then we'll put those antennas on in just a minute. First, we're gonna screw everything together, which I won't make you watch the entire thing, but you know, all you need to do is get your screws and line it up and start screwing things in. That's it. So let's put it all together. So there you go. Here is my 10 channel demo rack ready to go out into the field and start training anyone and everyone. Thanks for following along. I hope that you learned a little something. I'm not an expert on how to rack this gear up. I am an expert on the product. So if you have any questions, please reach out. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with all of our how do you do that content. And if you want us to come train you on one of these racks, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.